it is by Saint Lorraine Higgins. I'm not sure who's taking that. Thank you, Lasca Erlock. Is Minister Quinn taking this adjournment? Okay, thank you, Minister Quinn. You can Quinn. proceed, Senator Higgins. You have four minutes. Um, I just want to thank you, Minister, for coming into the House to deal with this matter on the adjournment with regard to the p potential provision of a, pl a primary health care facility in Port Tumna, County Galway. Uh, primary health care is the way forward in the delivery of essential health services, and these services are imperative to the people living in and around Port Tumna and its hinterland. Such a facility will provide a wide range of services essential for the well-being of members of this community to include the promotion of health and screening, diagnosis, treatment and rehabilitation, as well as personal social services. They are particularly attractive as a concept in that they are fully accessible by way of self-referral and operating as a one-stop shop, if you like. Under the one roof, general practitioners, public health nurses, general nurses, social workers, community mental health nurses, dietitians, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, to name just a few, will deliver such services. But we must recognise that the current health system which serves this country is not a fully integrated one, and we must strive to achieve such a system within the term of this government as committed to in the programme for government. And I'm aware from meeting with interested parties recently that permission for a primary health care centre was approved by planners in Galway County Council some time ago. And as such, this is a ready-to-go site. And I'm also informed that the said facility was one which was to be prioritised under the previous government's administration, but this never came to fruition during that time. Um, we do need better health for everyone in every community, and this is why I'm asking you to outline the plans today as our health strategy should aim to deliver improvements in the personal experiences of many thousands of individuals who are availing of health services every day. However, while I acknowledge that there, are, there is a list of centres approved throughout the country, um, I'm just seeking some commitment from the Department with regard to the provision of such an important medical facility in Port Tumna within the lifetime of this government. And to that end, I want to request that the necessary arrangements might be made in the capital budget um, to bring such a facility to Port Tumna over the term of this government. Thank you, Minister. Thank you. I would like to thank Senator Higgins for her question. I very much welcome the opportunity to outline the current position with regard to Port Tumna Primary Health Care Centre. As you be aware, the programme for government sets out this government's commitment to ensuring a better and more efficient health system, a single-tier health service that will deliver equal access to health care based on need and not income. In a primary care in a developed primary care system, up to 95% of people's day-to-day -day health and social care needs can be met in the primary care setting. The key objective of the primary care strategy is to develop services in the community that will give people direct access to integrated multidisciplinary teams of general practitioners, nurses, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, and other health care disciplines. This is central to this government's objective to deliver a high-quality, integrated, and, perhaps most importantly of all, a cost-effective quality health system. A modern, well-equipped primary care infrastructure is central to the effective functioning of primary care teams. These teams enable multidisciplinary services to be delivered on a single site, provide a single point of access for users, and encourage close, closer coordination between health providers. The infrastructure development through a combination of public and private investment will facilitate the delivery of multidisciplinary primary health care and represents a tangible refocusing of the health service to deliver care in the most appropriate and lowest cost setting. Intention to date has been that where appropriate, infrastructure for primary care centres will be provided by the private sector through negotiated lease agreements. The Exchequer will also fund the delivery of some primary care centres, particularly in deprived urban areas, small rural towns and isolated areas. In addition, a list of 35 potential locations for development by way of a public-private partnership as part of the government's infrastructure stimulus package was published last July. The provision of a primary care centre in Port Dumna has been progressed to date by way of a private sector operational lease process. In 2007, the HSC advertised nationally, seeking expressions of interest to develop primary care centres by way of an operational lease. Port Tumna was one of the locations included in this process. Expressions of interest were received and a number of sites explored. The HSE approved an offer to one of two applicants in 2008 and a letter of intent issued. In 2010, the applicant advised the HSE that it proposed to change the site of the centre as it had encountered difficulties in inquiring the original proposed site. The alternative site was acceptable to the HSE and to the GP practice supporting the development, and project design was advanced in 2010 to 2011. The applicant
student in question has had discussions with the HSE in relation to a number of primary care centre developments it is promoting and seeking to fund, including Portumna. These discussions have recently concluded and the HSE expects to receive confirmation from the applicant that it is in a position to fund the primary care developments concerned. The HSE is endeavouring to progress the Portumna project as soon as possible. Uh, Senator, if you keep in touch with my office and with that of uh, Mr Alex Fyche, I would be able to keep you updated as to what the progress is there. Thank you, Minister. I appreciate you providing some further clarity on the matter, and I look forward to the facility being further progressed in Portona. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Senator